you have to like somebody who's a couple of minutes early. We have Zach Carter, <laughs> defensive lineman, University of Florida. He has a few comments he wants to make to start off. Uh, we're about 40, 40 some days away from kickoff. I'm really excited, man, you know, just to get back in the swamp finally and you know, the 90,000 screaming out there. I'm really excited, man. Okay, do we have anybody with questions? Okay, we'll go right here, Zach, front row. in College Station, you were talking about, you know, 40-something days away, you're excited. When you look at this year in particular, how exciting is it that, you know, you'll be playing in kind of a more normal season, more fans, you're going to be playing in fuller stadiums as, a, you know, as opposed to last year? You know, it's pretty exciting, man. Um, last year it was pretty tough, you know, it was a tough year for everybody, you know. Um, it wasn't the same, honestly. You know, being out there, you're used to seeing thousands and thousands of stadium packed, and then it's just like 20,000 people out there. So, you know, I know Gator Nation was hurting last year. I know they all wanted to be there, but I'm just really excited to get out there in front of them, man. Um, we love the fans. They make a huge difference when we're out there. So I'm looking forward to that, definitely. Zach, front row to your left. David Waters or Gators Breakdown. Zach, uh, talk about the approach on defense between the coaches. And you guys are trying to bounce back from a, a disappointing season last year. The approach from the coaches and you guys uh, yourselves this spring. Man, this spring, this spring was great for our defense, man, honestly. Um, you know, the guys all spring, you know, we were juiced every day, energy. Um, you know, guys playing hard, and you know, the biggest thing is, you know, guys coming together. I think, you know, I think the biggest thing about a unit is being close off the field, and you know, I think guys start to come together more, and you can see like the cohesiveness on the field, honestly. Um, you know, we, we know we have some things to work on this year on defense, definitely, and I think spring was a, Great step forward. Um, defense, defense looked pretty good this spring. So we're looking to um, going in the camp. We're looking to bounce right back where we started. You know. We'll stay here on your left, second row. All right. It's been a different Kentucky team you've faced at Florida since you've been there. More tightly contested games. Has that changed the perception of Kentucky's football program at Florida? Um. Not really, um, you know, when we, when I see Kentucky, you know, I just think of Kentucky um, since, I, since I've been there. Uh, are, you, are you asking like how, are you saying because it's been like different teams yeah, every year? Closer like, games. Oh, closer yeah. games. Yeah. Oh, okay, I see what you mean. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, you know, Kentucky, you know, it's always, you know, it's been more, closer games, you know, the last few years. But, you know, it's the, it's the SEC, you know. Teams come to play in week in and week out, and we just got to fight hard and step up to the plate every week. To your right, front row. Hello, Zach. David Kloniger with the Charleston Post and Courier. Uh, you guys played South Carolina last year. They had a running back, Kevin Harris, ended up leading the conference in rushing. What do you remember about him, about going up against him, trying to tackle him? How elusive was he and hard was he to bring down? Oh man, um, Harris, he was definitely a good back. Um, he was pretty tough, you know, he was pretty tough to bring down, a solid runner. Um, I definitely, if I recall, that was number 28, I recall. But yeah, I definitely remember him. He was a pretty good back and, you know, he really helped South Carolina. Um, he he kind of let, helped lead that offense last year. So yeah, he's a pretty good back. To your left, second row, Zach. Hey, Mr. Carter, Chris Pinson, TV20. For you entering this fifth year, you and Ventrell are the leaders on this team. How are you going to try and mold these young players to make sure this year is a lot different than last year, and that way, come September 18th, Alabama's ready to rock and roll against a pretty vaunted defense? Man, it starts, you know, it starts on a, 
everyday basis, you know, just creating that culture, you know, that we got to do, we got to do what we got to do to get done. Um, we know last year where we left off is not where we wanted to be. So we kind of had to raise the bar this off season, this whole off season, starting in the spring. And I think, you know, I think me and Ventura have done a pretty good job of doing that. And, you know, it's not only me and Ventura, um, it's other guys, you know, stepping up to the plate and it's more leadership, you know, around the whole team. You know, guys are coming together and I think we've done a pretty good job this off season so far. To your right back, second row. Hey Zach, Mike Lucas with KXTV. Are you a fan of the proposed idea to expand the playoff to 12 teams or do you like where it's at at uh, four teams right now? Um, you know, when I heard about 12, ga 12 teams, I kind of was like, that might have been too many. I was thinking, personally, I was thinking like eight. I think I think eight would be pretty reasonable just because, you know, 12 games, you might have to play like three, three extra games, you know. So I was thinking eight games would be more reasonable. Right here in the front row to your left. Zach, has there been a, a different approach from Coach Grantham and the defensive staff to help you guys bounce back from last year? Um, well, I'll say, you know, Coach Grantham and his staff, you know, our coaches, they show up every day and they coach us hard. Um, you know, I say nothing, nothing has really changed. You know, um, we go, we go on about our business every day. Um, it's really, it's really how, how we attack the day. And, you know, it's really how we go out there and handle our business in practice, um, you know, guys paying close attention to small details, little things that, you know, the margin of error is very small. And, you know, we've been working on, we've been working on that this off season. To your right in the back row. Zach, um, you know, a lot of the faces of the program are now in the NFL from last year. Um, we all know Dan Mullen's a great motivator, but talk about the chip that your team has gone through this off-season program with to, you know, motivate yourself and, sh and maybe surprise some people this year? Um, well, yeah, um, you know, we see, we see things that, you know, are said about the Gators and whatnot. But like, like I said, um, this off-season, guys' head has been down and we've been, we just been focusing on accomplishing one goal at the end of the year. And, you know, I think it's good. I think it's good going into a season with a chip on your shoulder because, you know, it just gives you something to fall back on. And when guys have chips on their shoulder, you know, I seen God I seen guys working harder than ever this year. So, you know, I think I think it's a good thing that we had a chip on our shoulder this year. And, you know, we want we want people to be surprised this year. To your left in the back row. Hey, Zach, Jacques Doucet, WFB-TV in uh, Baton Rouge. I want to ask you a couple of questions about LSU. Um, <laughs> the shoe toss thing last year, was that one of the strangest things you've been a part of? Did you even realize what had happened down the field? <laughs> um, I'll say, you know, I mean, I've never, I've never seen, I've never been in a game where that happened, but, you know, it was just, uh, you know, somebody got caught up in their emotions, you know. People get very passionate for the game and, you know, you can make a mistake sometimes. But, um, no, nah, I've never I've never been a part of that, though. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to be back in Death Valley. Um, you know, that's one of the great, great atmospheres in college football, so. It'll be pretty. It'll be pretty interesting to go back there. We have time for two more questions. The first over here to your left. Zach, you guys are going to take on FAU to open the season at home in front of hopefully 90,000 screaming orange and blue fans. How exciting is that for you? And what's it going to be like? You think to run back out in a tunnel with a normal circumstance of this season as opposed to last year? Honestly, I I can't wait, man. You know, I think about it all the time just because you know. Last year, it was unfortunate not to have, you know, all those fans out there. But 
Um, I'm telling you, man, I, I think about it every day. It's really the best feeling ever, running out that tunnel and running in the swamp. I'm really excited. Okay, our final question over here to your right, front row. Hey, Zach, right here. You moved more interior into the line now. Do you feel more comfortable there? Would you rather go back out to the end at times, or do you, do you feel like you're pretty set now on the interior? Um, I will not really like to put a label on myself, you know. Um, I think I'm a pretty versatile player, um, you know. I, um, I like playing. I like playing outside, you know, but wherever my team needs me, I fill in that role. But um, I'm, I kind of went back to playing more outside this year. Um, last year I had to play inside just to fill a little void at the beginning of the year. But as the year went on, they kind of moved me more outside. But I'll still be moving around. I'll still be moving around a lot this year. Team needs you, and I'm sorry if you've already addressed this, but you chose to come back when mm -hmm. when you could have easily left. What right. went into that decision? Man, I just I just felt like we we really had some unfinished business, and I wanted to be a part of that. Um, you know, I remember after the SEC championship game, uh, I st I probably stayed on the field for about five minutes after, you know, watching the confetti come down and all of that, and you know, I'll never forget that moment. I was like, at that moment, I knew I was like, we'll be back, and you know, I kind of made, you know, a promise to myself, you know, I'm gonna give everything I got this year, and I'm gonna try to, you know, help my team the best I can, help lead my team in some, some type of way, so. Zach, thank you very much. Thank you.